my name is Sandra and if you are new to my channel welcome if you already subscribed thank you for supporting and watching my videos for today's makeup look I wanted to create something super cute and springy I am super ready for spring um, I'm over the winter I'm over the cold and it's only a month away so hey why not right let's start it early so for today's makeup look I went ahead and got inspired by this Ofra cosmetics liquid lipstick it actually came in an ipsy bag I'm not exactly sure which one it came on I think it was maybe like two months ago but it's been sitting in my drawer and I just pulled it out and I swatched it and I was like in love with this color it's the perfect mauve it's not too pink and it's not too purple and it's the perfect mauve nude so I went ahead and created this warm halo eye and paired it with this liquid lipstick if you guys are interested in seeing how I accomplished this look let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping the face. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I just love using this because it helps hydrate the skin. I'm going to pat it in with a big fluffy brush just to help it absorb faster. The primer that I'm using today is this one by Too Faced. It's the Hangover RX. It just has coconut water, probiotics, and it just helps revive the skin, which is what I need, especially in the winter. We just want to make sure our face is nice and moisturized. This next product has to be super excited. It is by Hard Candy and it is their Mattifying Pore Primer Stick. I do have a little bit of larger pores on my cheek area, so um, I tested this out and I definitely loved it. You guys, if you guys are looking for something affordable for your pores, this seals the deal. For foundation today, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Desert Beige and I'm also going to be mixing in some of this Revolution Luminous Gold Liquid Highlighter just to add a little bit of glow onto the skin. So I'm just going to apply this with the little spatula and then we are going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. As you can see here, I'm just going to be applying my liquid highlighter directly onto the Beauty Blender and this Beauty Blender is awesome. It is my Lemon Drop Beauty Blender from Mikasa. I do have a discount code if you guys are interested. It is super soft, easy to clean, very soft on the skin. I just love using this Beauty Blender. I am going to be doing my brows off of camera, but for today I am using the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in a deep brown. I have been recently super obsessed with this product for brows. The palette that I'm going to be using for my eyes today is the Morphe 3502 palette, but before we jump in, I am going to be priming my eyes with a little bit of concealer and just making that my base. I'm going to be picking up the color Universal and putting that all over the crease. This is going to be my transition shade before layering on the next color. Just make sure you build up that color so that we have a nice gradient effect once we apply the rest of the shadows. The next color I'm picking up is Orb. It is a warmer, neutral color. This is just going to help intensify that crease color before applying this next shade, which is Risky in the palette. And I'm just going to start applying this a little bit lower than the colors that we just applied just to add a little more definition onto our crease and start really bringing that red color out. Moving on to the next shade, it's also a reddish tone. This one is called Chestnut. I'm just going to start applying this in the same area, just focusing it on the crease to, like I said, intensify that reddish tone. We are creating a warm halo eye, so I just want to make sure we have that color really pop through on this look. We want to make sure all of our colors are nice and blended, so here I'm just blending out any harsh edges using my Morphe M533 Fluffy Brush from Morphe. This next color that I'm going to be applying is called Brave, and I'm just going to be focusing this on the outer and inner corners of the eyes just to start creating that halo effect on the eye. The 
then again going back into orb and a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and again blend out any harsh edges just to make sure everything is nice and blended and it's all seamless Next, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a concealer brush, and I'm just going to start carving out the center area of my eye to give myself that halo effect. For my center lid color, I'm going to be taking this eye pigment from Collab. It is in the shade Rage. It's just a pretty champagne color. And I'm just going to be applying this on the area where we carved out with the concealer just to make that eye a halo and just really make it stand out. Once we have laid down that pigment on the eye, we want to go back in with the color Brave and just start cleaning up around that halo eye just to really carve it out and make sure that it's nice and blended. We don't want just a patch of white right there. We want to make sure we make everything kind of blend into each other and it just matches perfectly. And once more, we're gonna go back in with a big fluffy brush and the color orb and just blend out what we just did just to make sure, again, everything is nice and blended and it looks pretty. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the shade Light Medium. I'm just gonna conceal under my eyes, on my nose, chin, and forehead and blend it out with a beauty blender just to highlight those areas. For my contour today, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of color onto the face. I like using a cream contour before I apply my bronzer, I don't know, it's just what I do so we're just going to go ahead and roll with it. I'm going to go ahead and spray my dome brush with a little bit of the Mario Bescu face mist and this just helps me blend out my contour a lot smoother and it keeps it from getting patchy. So yeah, just go ahead and blend that face out. To set my concealer, I'm going in with my fave, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light, which is number 10. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my shade and light contour brush and use the dome side and just apply it lightly on, on the areas where I highlighted earlier. So under the eyes, on the chin, forehead, nose, you know, the whole shebang. To set my bronzer, I'm going in with this one from e.l.f. It is in the shade Deep, and it's just a pretty contouring shade. I love using it. It's warm instead of a cool tone, which suit my skin tone a lot better. And it's my first time using it, and I actually really liked how it looked on my skin. So this is what I use today to give me that beautiful bronze color.
to finish up my lower lash line, I'm just going to be mixing three colors together, which is Orb, Risky, and Brave with a small precise brush. For my lashes today, I am going to be trying out the new Maybelline Total Temptation. I will let you guys know how I like it. I do want to have a blown out smoky lower lash line so for this I am using this Tarte liner in bronze and then I'm going to be taking a flat shader brush and just rubbing that on the lower lash line just smoking it out and blending it into the eyeshadow. To set my brows, I'm going to be using my usual, which is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Voluminizer. As usual, you already know this is my favorite product for my brows, so we are going to set these puppies in place using this product today. For blush today, I'm going to be taking this one by Wet n Wild. It is called Apricot in the Middle. And I just love using this one because it's not too intense on the face. It doesn't look too pink and it's the perfect peachy color and it suits this eye very well. So we're going to be using this on the apples of our cheeks today. For my highlight, I'm going in with my fave, which is the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in Champagne Pop. Just popping this <laughs> on the apples of our cheeks. We also want to highlight our inner corner, so I'm going to be using the same highlighter and just a smaller brush to put this on the inner corners of our eyes. For lips today, I'm going to be taking this liquid lipstick from Ofra Cosmetics. It is in the shade Unzipped, and like I did say in the beginning, it is the perfect mauve pinky nude color, which I'm obsessed with. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this onto my pout. To set my face, I'm gonna be using my Revolution Pro Fix Setting Spray. Hey guys, this sums up the look. If you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave me any comments down below on any requests or any questions you guys may have. And yeah, until next time, you guys, I'll see you in my next video.